I thank you. I thank you for this consecration. It's been real good. It's been very beneficial to me personally. Thank you for killing and dying the things on the inside of me that needs to die. Thank you for killing stuff, Father God, that would interfere with destiny and legacy. Thank you, Father God, for allowing me, Lord, to obey your voice and do what you have called me to do. Now speak to the Augustine of believers this afternoon. Bless each and every one of them. We made it over, and we made it to the first Sunday of 2019. And we are grateful. Father God, don't let nobody leave up out of here unsaved. If it's a person under the sound of my voice that knows they have not accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, they don't have to wait till I give a benediction. They can come in the middle of the service anytime your spirit tell them to come. Father God, we have people that's in place to see about them if they come. And if it's somebody under the sound of my voice that know they in church because they want to start it off right. They came to church. We thank you, Lord, for bringing them. But now it's time for the church to get them to Christ. Amen. If that be a person this afternoon, Father God, that want to recommit and reconnect to the kingdom and move deeper into covenant, Father God, let them too make a decision, Father God. Not just a decision to come to church, because that's not going to do it, but a decision to come to Christ. That's what's going to do it. Let them become. Let them come today too, Father, in the name of Jesus. Also heal. Heal. Give sound biblical instruction, Lord. Settle my spirit. I decrease so that you can spiritually increase. Remove all of my emotions out the way. Let me die before the people spiritually. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. 2019. Somebody say amen. Amen. Why do you keep talking about that? Because I was told once upon a time before Christ saved me that you weren't going to make it to 1987, 1989, 1990. You'd be dead before 1995. Yeah, I was told those type of things. Keisha, but God. Somebody say, but God. But God. That but God ain't just for me, it's for you too. Look at your neighbor and say, but God. but God. Come on, look at your neighbor again and say, but God. But God. Yes, God had a different plan for you. That's why you made it. Amen. I was in first service on this morning and it was thick up in there, a lot of heaviness. I found out, my God, that one of the members, uh, friends, had been playing with a gun, to my knowledge, uh, and end up going off and it killed itself. My God. That baby, I don't know how he got the gun, don't know all the details, and, but when he started playing with that gun, I can imagine he wasn't thinking it was going to be his last day. And so I had to go over there and pray for some babies because they were sitting over there in the corner over there uh, going through and just made me think how beautiful it is to be alive today. Yeah. Sometimes you need to say and look back over your life and really count up the cost and think about what almost and even what did happen but God's grace and mercy brought you out and you're alive today. Sometimes, Minister Tommy, I think about if I'd have died before I got a chance to accept Christ, I'll be in a burning hell. And the thought of everlasting punishment. It's terrifying to want to miss heaven. So again, as the Spirit of God had me, if you don't know Christ, quit telling yourself you got tomorrow. And if you know that you came to church because you want to do things right and you know you're not properly in connection and in covenant with God, give your life to Christ. Come recommit yourself to Christ today. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Is that anybody in here? Come on up, woman of God. The first fruits in 2019. Who else want to recommit? Who else want to give their life to Christ? Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. Yes, Lord. Mm. We're talking about recommitment. Giving up. We want to know beyond a shadow of a doubt. Come on, I'm going to wait on you. Oh, my God, I'm going to wait on you. They coming. I know 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Pastor be in the spirit, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Come on, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Who else? Who else? Who need to recommit themselves? <laughs> Who has broken covenant with God and they know they're out of covenant, but they ain't around the church and you're ready to get back in covenant? We talking about you too. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. They steady coming. They steady coming. Amen. 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 This is church now. God and I already spoke here. <laughs> oh my God. God and I already spoke. Here. See, I know how to obey God. I ain't got no agenda, Barry. My agenda is God's agenda. They need to learn who they're sitting up under. Oh, my God. I said, my agenda is God's agenda. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to order service, and I got a message preached. I have to ready to preach, but God said, do it my way. Yes, Lord. They steady coming. I give God the glory. Yes, restoration today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah. Oh, my God. Come stand with her, Tasha. Come on. Come on. Stand with her. Come on. Stand with your daughter. Oh, my God. Come stand with the woman of God for me. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, Natasha. Come on up. Mm-hmm. My God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're talking about recommitting ourselves back to the Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Seek first the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom. And then he said, live righteous. You can't live righteous apart from God. Please don't let religion Please don't let what you think you know. Please don't let your degree. Please don't let your tongue. Please don't let your offering, your tithes, anything interfere when you know that your heart is not properly connected to the king and his kingdom. A few more minutes. Is that you today? I love God, but I ain't living right. You ought to be up here. It's okay. We ain't got no stones to throw. Not in this church. I promise you we ain't throwing no stones. We can't judge nobody. We working at ours just like you working at yours. We are mess on our way to progress just like you. They steady coming. They steady coming. They steady coming. They steady coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They steady coming. They steady coming. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We talking about recommitting to coming. Yeah. I know God is working with you, son. My God. Come on, come on. Come on, Caleb. I'm going to call you out. Come on up here, Caleb. Come on. Come on, son. Come on. Get him, Alvin. Get him, Alvin. Get him on up here. Woo, my God. Thank you, Lord. Ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm. The Father's pleased. I can see him now. I said, thank you, Jesus. Seeing about my son. Woo, shaka da 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 Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the kingdom, Lord. Yours is the kingdom. Oh, my God. Yours is the kingdom, Lord. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Today is the day. The word of God says, I set before you life and death, blessing and curses. The Bible says, choose life. Choose life. This last call, if you got anything on you that you know is weighing you down, amen. If you got anything, they steady come, my God. If you got anything on you, anything on you, anything on you, if you have taken on any type of offenses, my God, if you are offended about whatever, <laughs> My God, if it's things that you came, my God, hoping that God would help you overcome, my God, you should be at the altar. My God, because today God wants to do everything that you need him to do. God has heard your prayers. God has not only heard it, my God, but God has touched my heart to allow you the opportunity to get it right so that when you leave up out of here, my God, you'll never leave up out of here the same, my God. I don't care what is on you. If anything is on you, if anything is on top of you that you know that should not be on top of you, you should be coming to the altar altar because God's anointed who my God is ready to break that in the name of Jesus mm. Lord I thank you if you need any type of physical healing 
in your body. Emotional healing, mental healing. You should be here at the altar. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Y'all come closer. Pour us, work them, work them. Push them up closer, push them up closer. People are coming. I'm obeying God. Yeah. To any children that's left in the sanctuary, if you need to be restored to your mama, because there's a bridge or there's a gap, there's animosity, you should be coming to stand beside your mother. If you are a son of her, my God, and you have problems concerning your father's womb, my God, you ought to be at the altar so God can heal you too, my God. Today, we ain't leaving no stones unturned. We can't move forward in God's kingdom, my God, if we ain't in the kingdom. We come to get in the kingdom today. What do you have need of today? What did you come to church expecting God and needing God to do in your life today? Whatever you're expecting, whatever you're needing, my God, today is the day of that right now. Oh my God. Shanda Boshi Kida la 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 Yeah, my God. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm almost in there, church. I'm almost in there. Just let me obey God. Just let me obey God. Just let me obey God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bring them babies up here, Sister Bird. Bring them up here. My God. This is the couple that one of the person I was talking about in first service. Bring up here. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Bring him up here. Bring him up here. Bring him right there. Right here. Bring him on in. Heal that baby's heart. Heal that baby's heart. Heal her mind. My God, for what that baby just had to go through last night. Oh, my God. Was he part of that? Was that? that yeah, okay. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God, as you get in this April, my God, this is God all day, every day. Are you getting this, Sister Patrice? Amen. Amen. They steady coming. They steady coming. I got about 30 more seconds, my God. If you're struggling with any hangups and habits, guess what hangups and habits is? It ain't just drugs and alcohol. <laughs> oh, my God, if you got any type of addiction, any type of addiction, any type of addiction, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Any type of addictions, <laughs> any type of habits, my God, that you want God to break up off of you, today is the day. If you're dealing with any mental oppression, today is the day. <laughs> oh, my God, I didn't preach. I just obey God, son. And this is the example when you obey God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. My God, fresh start. Fresh start. Come on, talk to God now while you're up here. You didn't come this far. You got to talk to God. I can't do it for you. You got to talk to God. I'm going to get you there, but you got to talk to God. Oh, my God. I got you to God. Now it's up to you and God to get it done. Oh, my God. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Come on. Talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, children. Get it out. All the pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, mamas. Get it out. My God. I don't care what it is, Kenya. Everybody get it out. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to get you to God. I'm going to get you to God. That's what we do inside of going off at Christ Church. We get you to God over here. <laughs> I don't want you to come to church. I want you to come to Christ. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't change you, but Christ can. <laughs> going off at Christ can't do nothing for you, my God, but Christ can do everything to you. Oh, my God, we thank you now, Lord. <laughs> thank you for these souls. <laughs> oh, my God, thank you, Lord. <laughs> yeah, my God. Hey, my God. Ah, thank you for reconciliation. Thank you for restoration. Oh, my God. We thank you. My God, I see you, Stacy. Oh, my God. Come on, stretch your faith. Come on, you came this far. You might as well let God finish what he started. Hey, my God, it's so good to see you. You've been in my spirit. Amen, woman of God. The Bible says in Philippians 1 and 6. Oh, I'm making this declaration because it's the Bible. Philippians 1 and 6 said, he who begun, he who begun a good work. Some of you have been with God, my God, and you walked away from God. You didn't taste it and seen the goodness of the Lord. Oh, my God, you know what it's like to move in God. You have set out on God because you've been hurt and you've been offended. 
offended you've been my God disappointed and you have told my God yourself that you ain't gonna do nothing oh my God God comes to break that this afternoon God have need of thee God gonna require the gifts God is gonna require the talents God's gonna require what he put inside of you my God you got to give it to God your gifts don't belong to you your talents don't belong to you your life don't belong to you your mind don't belong to you your body don't belong to you it belongs to the Lord and so today we gonna get everything right oh before we move any farther oh my God God had already preached so I ain't gonna even do that heavens are rejoicing right now Pastor Tony heavens are rejoicing I told God I told God to wink at me, God. I said, God, I need you to wink at me. I told God, Pastor Michelle, I need you to wink at me. I'm feeling a little bit discouraged, man, my God. Oh, but God just winked at me, D. I feel my second help coming on and my second wind coming on. I think I may continue on in this thing called pastoring. I think I may go on and run this race. I, oh, that I told God I wasn't going to never turn back on, my God. God just winked at me and he let me know that I'm still proud of you, son, that you still in my wheel no matter all the people that may be leaving and coming i'm still got my hand on your life I, don't worry about nothing i got my hand on going home for christ church oh my god because going home for christ is all about souls I, it ain't about programs I, it ain't about tradition I, it's about this right here pastor Teddy. don't ever forget that my god this is the church my god that you are signed to to help pastor souls I, he died my god and got up my god so that you and i could be right here today jesus don't come about nothing else but this right here Sarah and Moostock souls coming to the kingdom he winked at us pastor champ oh my god I'm a bomb from Gilead right now I needed this boy this is more just about me than it is about you I can't get nobody to say nothing right there breathe on us God oh come on stretch your hands and we get ready to pray breathe on us God ah. oh, sh- da, 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 da. breathe Breathe. Come on, tell God to breathe. We get ready to repent. We get ready to recite a sinner's prayer. We get ready to recommit ourselves. We gonna position ourselves to be healed in our bodies, healed in our minds. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Just stay right there as Minister Tony minister to us a little bit. Come on, keep your focus on God. Don't look around. Don't look around. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Come, on. Come on, Tony. Come on. Oh my God. Breathe. Ha. Hey, lay your hands on them, Brother Borden. Lay your hands on your clients, my God. Deliver them. Deliver, Lord. Deliver. 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 Deliver them in the name of Jesus. Restore them in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you. Come on. Tell God to breathe. 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 Oh, my God. Breathe on me. Breathe. There you go, baby. Oh my God, Mama Donna, get my daughter and bring her here right here. Bring her up here. Bring her right here. Bring her into the crowd. Oh my God, my God, you better stop that up there. Don't do that. Sit down. Breathe on me. Breathe on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Santa. Come up here. You a daughter in this house. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Tell him to breathe. Come on. Tell him to breathe. Come on. Tell him to breathe. Oh my God. Oh my God. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, breathe on it, Lord. Protect it, Lord. She like that. Make me new. Breathe your soul into his nostrils, Father God. Touch his mind, his body, and his soul. Protect him. Be a wall of protection around him. Today marks a new beginning. Today marks a fresh start. Heal every wound, my God. Heal the Father wound right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. Shrinking this baby. We shall not have more giving peace. Breathe hey. on me. Come on, Jakari, raise your hand, Kamari. Come on. Come on, tell God to breathe. Come on, son. Tell him to breathe on you. Come on, all you children at the altar. Raise your hands. Tell God to breathe on you. Come on, all you children. Come on, all you children. All you children. Come on. That's all of us. We children of God. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tasha. Amen. Tasha. Breathe. Lord, breathe. Thank you, Lord. 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 Oh, we get ready to release as soon as we pray. And we're going to get out of here, my God. And we're going to pray some more for an hour. Thank you, Lord. Breathe. Thank you, Lord.
ready to pray. Let's get ready to pray. Church, I want y'all to listen to me before I turn it over. Every one of you that has came to give your life to Christ, everyone that has came to rededicate their life to Christ, everyone that has came for healing, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever you came to the altar for, I want to tell you something. After what you do, after this bold confession and declaration of, of reconciliation and restoration with God, I'm going to tell you something. The Bible says, as soon as the word of God is sown into a man's, no gender heart, the devil, church, comes to snatch it away. I want to tell you, I see all of your men and women crying and weeping. But if you don't guard your heart, this encounter that you are having with God's spirit, my God, I said with God's spirit, you ain't having an encounter with church. My God, when you leave from here, my God, you'll be saying, I had an encounter with God at going home for Christ's church. That's always one of my prayers, God. Let the people leave away talking that they met Christ at going home for Christ's church. And God has smiled on me. Lord, y'all don't know this did me good. But if you don't go, thank you, Sister Lawanias, did your pastor good. Been battling, woman of God. Wondering, is it time? Should I keep going? Should I stop? What should I do, God? Say, God, you got to do something in 2019. I can't carry on. I can't carry on like this. God just smiled on me. He let me know there's still a people that appreciate me and my wife and all that we do inside this church, man. There's still some loyal sons and daughters in this church, my God. There's still some people that, my God, that appreciate what God done for them since they've been inside of going home for Christ's church. Do I got a witness? I die. But as I was saying, I have not lost my place. Everything that you're getting ready to confess. Everything that you're asking God to cleanse and heal and release from your life. If you don't guard. It's like we guard our children. When we see a stranger come up, we are, we are surround our, our children. You know, we, are, we make sure that we protect our children. You got to protect. Y'all look at me. You got to protect. I'm talking at all costs. She can't have See, a lot of people in churches don't tell you this, but you got to protect at all costs that what God has sown into you. Because what God has sown into you is seed, is spirit, my God. So the seed, my God, that God has sown in you got to be cultivated. It got to be watered. Huh? Oh, my God, my God. In order for you to see the fruits, my God, of you coming, my God, today, you're going to have to allow God to water the seed. That means you got to keep the seed in the earth. That means you got to surround yourself around people, places, and things that's going to water the seed, not kill the seed. I can't get no way. Oh, my God. And so if you don't guard it, 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 it's just going to be an experience. That's all it'll be. It'll be that you came and you had an experience. And then when you don't see the manifestation of a transformed life, then you're going to get mad and say that this God stuff ain't real. Or this church stuff don't work. No, you didn't stay planted. You didn't guard it. You didn't keep coming to church. My God, you can't come to church today and don't come to church for the next three months, my God, and think that you're going to live righteously. The devil is a lie. See, that's what people don't understand. You got to stay connected. That's why the Bible says seek first. Oh, my God, I can't wait the next Sunday. Come back, my God. Come back. Come back if the Lord the is coming. My God, come back if the Lord the is coming. But you got to go on. When you leave from this place, one of my favorite things that helped me overcome my former life is that I had to understand that I have to watch people places and things that's what they teach you in drug treatment but I took them same principles mama and applied them to my spiritual life because the word of God tells us to guard and so I watch people places and things even as a man of God that's them has been my principles that I have lived by people places, and things and they have kept me from going back to drugs going back to game banging becoming a hypocrite people place and things the bible says how can two people walk together except there be agreement you're getting to be you're getting ready to become a new born again believer a recommitted believer see what i say so you can't go join yourself with people who don't walk and it's not going where you're trying to go the bible says that's the blind leading the blind they both shall fall into a ditch and so we're getting ready to pray we're gonna do a general prayer how many of you up here, let me see by the sword of hands. Let me stay in the spirit. How many of you, this is going to be your very, very first time ever giving your life to Christ. Let me see your hands. 
any. First time. Any first time. Anybody else? Don't be ashamed. Anybody else? If this is not your first time, that's okay. Amen. So good. If you are up here and you are recommitting yourself to covenant and you are ready to do Matthew 6, 33, that's going to be your scripture. Every one of them in this plea that I'm doing. This is your scripture. You should never forget it. Matthew 6, 33. So Jesus told the church, everything about Christendom depends on that right there. In the New Testament. Matthew 6, 33. If you are coming to rededicate yourself and recommit yourself to covenant and you are prayer, let me see your hand. Come on, let me see them high. I can't see. It's a lot of people up here. Amen. Okay, okay. If you are here and you came because you need some type of healing, whatever it may be, let me see your hand. It's the body. It's the body. As I teach my pastors that's on staff here, never just assume. Never assume. Never think that nobody needs to give their life to Christ. Never think that nobody needs some form of healing. That somebody, never assume that somebody, because they look real good. We look good, man of God, but that don't mean we ain't hurting. That don't mean we ain't struggling. That don't mean we don't need a word of encouragement. See, that's part of growing. Had to learn that, my God, because when I be walking, I be, I be getting down through there. But you may need me to stop and just shake your hand. And I don't know what that may do for you. See, that's part of living righteous in God's kingdom. Everybody matters. Everybody matters. You matter. Don't care what we've been through in life. You matter. You need to understand this, my God. That your past don't matter. Some of the things you've been through in your past is all really about your future. Because the devil was trying to kill you because he didn't want you to possess your future. That's why you got to let it go. You're not your past. You're a queen. All you got to do is start thinking and acting like it. So a clip, 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 clip. I encourage you to go to go on Hall for Christ and get on the YouTube and look at a sermon I preached a few months ago called Clip, Clip, Clip. Some of y'all going to have to clip, clip, clip. That's the enemy going to rob you if you don't. So I'm going to ask the man of God to begin to lead us in the sinner's prayer and pray for healing. Tony is heavy. My God, I want to pray. So that's what I'm going to let you do. We praying for first time salvation. Recommitment, Minister Tony, to covenant and healing all forms. My God. Father, we acknowledge you as King, as Lord, as owner, as the King of your kingdom, the light of our lives. We thank you for your grace and your goodness. For this young man who has come, go ahead and slip your hands up if you will to commit his life to you, Father, for the very first time. Father, in the name of Jesus, our King, our Christ, our Lord, y'all stretch your hands right here. I thank you, Lord God, from this day forward that this young man is about to make a confession that will change the course and the trajectory of his life. He will never walk the same again. We cancel every assignment against his life. We cancel every path, every decision, Lord God, that would try in, to hinder his forward mobility in you. As we pray, I thank you that he will not walk out of this building the same way he came in here, God. And Lord, this will transmit to his family, his children, his siblings, his parents, and those who are around him, this witness of light, God, would begin to transcend transcend his personal life. So just repeat after me and all of us in this room. Father God, today I receive you as I acknowledge you. You are God. You are Lord. You are Christ. I receive you today as my king as my lord take my life and it's yours i denounce i denounce evil in every form and i walk away from my former ways and i walk into 
the light of your kingdom shine in me shine on me shine through me you can shine by me I'm yours Lord come on slip both those hands up for me one more time father I thank you that he's yours his family is yours and this commitment is real in the name of Jesus and we give you thanks for him if you'll clap your hands and celebrate come on celebrate this man just came to the kingdom hallelujah now for those of you who are here to recommit your life to come into covenant with the king of kings to come into covenant with the king of kings the bible calls god our source he is abba which is father which means source and everything that is connected to him lives everything on the outside of him death is imminent according to scripture so if you want to live today commit to the one who made you no more playing games no more come one day and we're gone for two more weeks or two more months listen life will always be life life will always happen but God is constant and consistent and he's waiting on you you don't have to wait on him he's waiting on you to make a decision if you're like me I'm tired of yesterday if you're like me I'm tired I've had enough of yesterday I'm looking forward to my today and my tomorrows there is a kingdom that has everything you need in it but you can't get to the kingdom unless you come through the king his name is Jesus the Christ say that with me his name is Jesus Christ and today I commit to him I commit to him first I commit to him because he's committed to me I commit to him and I will not play games with my king I will serve him because he's blessed me I will bless him and I will live for him I will not turn back and deal with the stink of my past today I walk in newness I walk in commitment today I am a covenant citizen of the kingdom of God Jesus is my Lord and that's that hallelujah I want to deal with some of the emotional things that we deal with I had no clue that this man of God would ask me to, to pray this prayer. But as I was coming back into the sanctuary, the Holy Spirit dropped in my spirit. Deal with emotions. And he asked for those who are at this altar who are here needing some sort of healing. Most of our healing is emotional. I'm talking to men too most of the things that we deal with are hurts and fear most of the things that we carry are hurts and fear in women it manifests different than it will in a man if a man is afraid he gets angry if a male a man is afraid it manifests through anger. You see an angry man, you're dealing with a, a scared, fearful, insecure man. And I'm man enough to say it. I'm going to deal with this because the Holy Spirit told me to. If you're in this room, you don't have to lift your hand. You put your hands on your wife or your children in anger. You are afraid. 
you're afraid that somebody's going to find out how weak you really are. I'm, I'm flowing. You can be mad all you want to. I'm, I know this spirit because I was raised in it. I was raised by that thing. My cousin knows. Pastor Champ knows. If you abnormally use your strength, you are an abuser. The word abuse is made of two words, ab for abnormal and use. Abnormal use, abuse. You abnormally use people because you're afraid that people will know you ain't got your stuff together. I'm coming against that spirit because I'm man enough to come against that spirit. We got to get this right. And the root of all of it is fear, which is the opposite of faith. But when you're in the kingdom, we don't act like that. I didn't say in church because I know a bunch of preachers put their hands on their women. A bunch of them. Let that not be so in this house. Let that not be the witness for this house. Ladies, you were created by God. I'm dealing with this thing. You were created by God to carry. Carry. That's why you hold on to bitterness so long. Just hear me. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Hear me. You were created to carry. Men don't carry. We don't deal with stuff like that. We just don't. Women were created to carry. But do not get to the place where you carry unforgiveness and bitterness. We got to deal with that today. Forgive. The way that you overcome emotional hurts and pains is you got to open your heart and you got to let the Holy Spirit come in there where it hurts. You think you're protecting yourself, but what you are doing is trapping that thing in you and you don't give it a chance to get out. You got to let the oil of the word of the presence of God come in here and change that thing wipe it out 2019 will be a year of freedom from emotional pain freedom freedom lift your hands men and women instead of going out keep your hands raised instead of going out and medicating with alcohol Instead of medicating with alcohol, instead of medicating with marijuana, instead of medicating with pills, instead of medicating with substances outside of what God is supposed to do himself in your life. Those of you who are in this room and you know who you are, who are dependent on substances, to get you through situations the devil is a liar he wants you dependent on his spirit his word his will stop running to the bottle stop running to sex stop running to clubs stop running to alcohol he wants you to come to him I started this prayer off by saying God you are the Abba which means source don't let a substance be your source today. Let's deal with this because God wants you free. You have work to do.
I'm going to give you three words. Let it go. Slip your hands up. He wants to heal right now. He wants to heal right now. So that means you need to take a couple of minutes by yourself while your hands are raised and open your mouth and confess out of your own mouth, God, I'm hurting by this. And I need today for you to heal me inwardly right now. We're having an encounter with God. We're having an encounter right now. Come on, Dean. Come on, Dean. Come with me. I need you to open your mouth and say, God, that man hurt me or God, that situation hurt me. God, my father wounded me. God, my father raped me. God, my father or God, my uncle did this or my grandmother said that or this person kept putting me down. This person kept speaking stuff over my life. This person didn't give me the opportunity, God, to flourish and to blossom. They kept putting me down. They kept hitting me. They kept hurting me. They kept raping me. Deal with it today, Holy Spirit. Help me today, God. Ask him, open your mouth and cry out. Ask him. He will do it right now. He will begin to infiltrate your life and wash you clean from all the pain. That happened a long time ago. You got to get it off you now. 2019 is a year of manifestation of purpose. 2019 is a year of manifestation of purpose and you can't move forward carrying all that mess in your soul you cannot move forward touch somebody on the shoulder just touch somebody standing close father we touch and agree we touch and agree lord god that your holy spirit is saturating this place wash them on the inside wash them on the inside and heal their wounded souls God as you have already forgiven them let them be quick to forgive those who have wounded them in the past God Lord let every word that's been spoken over them that's against your will be broken in the name of Jesus we break the chains of every word God we break it off of you right now in Jesus name go free today let every word that's not of God be broken off of your life. Come off of your mind today in Jesus' name. Now, Father, as you clean us out, fill us up with your spirit. Fill us up with your spirit. Fill us up, God, and give us the hunger and the thirst for your word. Because once you clean this house, we need the word to fill this house. Let your word fill this house. Let your word fill this house. We decree today. Let's just make a declaration today. Come on, make a declaration with me today. I'm free. The past, my emotions, I'm healed. I say it out of my mouth. And when it tries to come back, I'm opening my mouth again. And I'm going to remember this moment. And I'm going to say to those emotions, get in line with the Spirit of God. You are healed. I have forgiven and I am free from the pain in the name of Jesus. I want you to do something, one more thing. Look at two people and say, apply the word. Apply the word. Tell your neighbor, let, your, let the word be your medicine. Tell them, let the word be your medicine. Let the word be your medicine. Eat that word, eat that word, flip those pages, eat that word, eat that word, eat that word. Let it get in and fill you up. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Come on, let's give God a hand clap. Come on, church.